I'm Mike Schertz with Crisis Medicine and I'm at the 2019 Special Operations Medical Association meeting in North Carolina. A few days ago, one of my students uh, contacted me and stated that this hemorrhage control kit was put together by the school district. It's uh, a student very interested in this material and recognized, looking just in the sides of this, that there was a tourniquet uh, that was pretty suspicious for possibly being a counterfeit. So let's go ahead and open this uh, kit and see what's in it. Now, the school district did spec this kit itself, and so they assembled them. Now, this is a seventh generation cat tourniquet. No one has counterfeited these yet. Uh, this, black count, this black tourniquet, however, is a little bit suspicious, and in fact, there are between six and seven different companies uh, in China that are making counterfeit and knockoff cat tourniquets. There are quite a few different ways to tell, uh, and we'll talk with NAR a little bit more about this tourniquet and uh, how do we know it's counterfeit. The issue with these counterfeit tourniquets is they're not made to any military spec. We don't know anything about the plastic quality. We don't know anything about the stitch counts. And in fact, they have operationally failed on casualties in the United States. We uh, passed along to the school district that this is in fact a counterfeit tourniquet. Their answer is it's better than nothing. We don't agree with that. So we've got access to this kit, and I was going to show Timothy, who's a representative from North American Rescue, who markets that cat tourniquet in North America, the one we're suspicious about. Oh, Timothy, what can you tell us about that as an indication to you that it's a fake? Okay. This is actually a knockoff of our Generation 6 tourniquet uh, that hasn't been on the market for going on four years now. Uh, the most notable difference is the size of the windlass. So just right, just just from a distance, you can tell that the windlass design is different. Uh, this is our old design. Uh, this is inferior plastic product. Our other uh, material is, is actually composite material. Obviously, the color and the time tape is different. Uh, we use a gray time tape now as well. I'll let you hold that for a second. The other differences on this tourniquet is the sonic weld. It's not true sonic weld. Uh, there are no markings on the base plate on our actual authentic uh, cat tourniquet. It has all of our uh, patent and licensing and, and manufacturer information on the back of the base plate. The clip, windless clip, um, is inferior. It's plastic. It bends. And then, of course, the windless. Uh, you can kind of see that this is this is inferior product. So, Quite a bit of deformation there. Uh, for an FDA-regulated product, uh, this knockoff, there's no way for us to know that this is truly going to work when you try to save someone's life. And I have heard uh, from some of your colleagues that these are being imported into the United States, not as tourniquets, which require FDA clearance, right. but as toys, right. as a way to circumvent their registration process. Yes, uh, especially in the paintball community. Uh, the paintball gear, they try to do uh, authentic looking knockoff equipment, and we, we see that a lot with paintball equipment. And the FDA several years ago said that if you came in contact with any of these in the U.S., their request is that they actually be destroyed rather than sent back to China for a fear that the Chinese factory would just really sell them. Right. The FDA is that concerned they'll fail to request that they be destroyed. We've got a similar situation in the state of New Hampshire where uh, a government agency purchased counterfeit tourniquets and put them on the, the rigs, and they actually had a tourniquet failure that, uh, that did not turn out well for the patient. So there was a, a mandate from the state that, that they use authentic devices. So it's, it's not anything new, it's just dangerous. And somebody's accepting a lot of liability by doing that. Absolutely. I really appreciate your time, so I think the key here is use a tourniquet, not a toy.